Definitely gotta get that mannequin head too. Oh yeah. <laughs> They're gonna use that for something, I can already tell you. Another episode of the Investment Properties Sales Show thing is selling at or above list. We are gonna provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't watch TV, giving it to you straight. A duplex in Old Brooklyn priced at 74.9. Boom! Your brain is probably exploding, y'all. 4013 West 23rd, Cleveland. 44109. Obviously, if you've been paying attention to Cleveland and the market and what's happening with duplexes right now, anything priced at like 100, 110, 115 is immediately getting put into bidding wars with people going well above list price, right? A lot of investors just getting outbid even though they're going above, right? Cash offers 10K above list and people aren't getting the deals, man. So then I went out here and I priced this sucker at freaking 75K, less than 75K, right? 74.9, right? Now, before everybody starts fighting each other and stabbing each other, trying to get your bid in, right? This show, it's all about transparency. Is the deal good? Absolutely. But is there a catch? Of course, there's a catch. Why would the seller hire me to just give away his property? He wouldn't, right? As you see, the property, it's all types of jacked up, folks. This is what can happen if you're investing in C-grade real estate. Now, this particular neighborhood... Dude, my personal portfolio, I'm making a lot of friggin' money in this neighborhood, man. This is like the neighborhood in the whole Cleveland market where Holton Wise has the majority of our holdings, right? We are more densely invested in this neighborhood than any other neighborhood. That don't mean that it's freaking somersaults and rainbows, folks. Sometimes tenants do stuff that sucks, right? <laughs> As you can see, the tenants at this particular property, they did some stuff that sucks, right? So... Got the bid on the screen now for you, right? You know, this is all the repairs we're going to need to do, right? We got to freaking do a lot of stuff. We're talking about over $30,000 uh, of renovation work, right? Clearing off all this stuff. But if you look at the property, right, the bones of it are pretty sweet, right? Now, this freaking severed mannequin head nonwithstanding, you'll see the mechanicals, they're in good, solid condition, right? So the, the bones here are good. The neighborhood is solid, right? This is a neighborhood where after we spend all the money fixing up all the stuff that these horrible tenants did to this property, man, we want to go forward with some Section 8 tenants. Now, you can go cash tenants. You can. But I think going Section 8 tenants is the better route, right? Now, a lot of people, they freak out about Section 8 tenants, and they think that what you've seen in this video is more likely to occur with Section 8 tenants than cash-paying tenants. I, I beg to differ, right? The neighborhood you invest in is going to determine the risk level of your tenant base. Once you've determined that, the level of risk of your tenant base, in this particular neighborhood, I think the lower-risk tenants are actually the Section 8 tenants, right? Because a lot of times, when you go from... Everything is cool, everything is gravy to the, the destruction that you've seen in this video. It has a lot to do with the tenants being evicted because they're no longer paying rent, right? And that's really just, you know, that's where every problem starts, right? Tenants don't want to pay rent, landlord goes to evict tenants, tenants start hating the landlord, tenant starts fucking up the landlord's house in retaliation, blah, 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 blah. You know, tenants blame the landlord for, you know, their inability to, you know, handle themselves as responsible adults and pay for the roof over their head. And it just creates this downward spiral of damage and destruction, which ultimately costs you guys money, right? Section 8, in my opinion, mitigates most all of that, right? Because the tenants no longer have to worry about paying their rent because Uncle Sam is handling that. You as a landlord don't need to evict the tenants or tell the tenants you're going to evict them because you're getting paid by Uncle Sam. Everything is kosher. That's why most of my personal holdings, I go with Section 8. After we fix this bad boy up, you'll be into it for like, I don't know, was it going to be like 105, 106, 107? Still under what put-together properties are going for, right? So it could work as a bird deal. You're not going to get all your money out, but you'll get some of it out. I'd imagine it'll probably appraise for, I don't know, probably around 120 if I had to guesstimate, right? You know, appraisers are a little wild, though. They get a little crazy sometimes. But I think 
Maybe 115, 120. I think that's a pretty reasonable estimation of what this should appraise for. So all in all, it's a solid deal, right? If you guys watch the MLS Search and Analysis show, I show you how to run your numbers. So feel free to check out some of those estimates or some of those videos with the number estimates and run your own estimates if you want. Either way, uh, you know, for the folks that are paying attention to the market in Cleveland, you guys know properties are freaking flying off the shelves of multiple offers, so I'm probably going to get 20, 30 offers on this thing. I'm offering at freaking 75K, right? We got bidding wars at properties that are just like this at 110K, right? Maybe they got some tenants in there. Not as much destruction, but you get the point. <laughs> Moral of the story, come ready, come with cash, be ready to bid against other people. If all that makes sense, and after that, you want Holton Wise to go ahead and put some Section 8 tenants in there, bring in about 1500 a month, mitigate your risk so you don't end up in a situation like this more often than is absolutely necessary. I don't know if necessary is the word I want to say, but at the end of the day, this is C-grade real estate investing. There is risk to it. We like to mitigate the risk as much as we can so this scenario doesn't happen any more often than it absolutely needs to. But, you know, these things do and will happen to investors. But we calculate for that in our pricing. Again, if you go to the MLS Search Analysis Show, I show you how to factor those numbers in. And with Section 8 tenants, this should be a very stable investment with few bumps in the roads, right? So send those offers to sales at holtonweiss.com. Include your proof of funds. Uh, Pre-approved buyers trying to buy with financing, probably not going to happen here, right? We really need to go cash, and then you guys need to focus on doing a bird deal, right? Buy, renovate, rent, refinance, repeat, right? You really need to focus on paying cash because it's all types of jacked up. We ain't getting uh, a lender to write a loan on this one in its current shape. Yes, the mechanicals, they're in good condition, but like going through underwriting with a property this fucked up looking, it's not going to happen, right? So cash offers only, focus on the refi after we get your tenants in there, after we get the thing looking beautiful, looking spick and span. And Holton Wise, we, of course, can handle all your property management, maintenance, construction, tenant needs. We'll get you all through the Section 8 program. We will handle everything. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.